there, if we haven't met before, my name is Kiri and I'm a flower farmer here in Western Washington in Zone 8A. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on some of the cool flowers, also known as hardy annuals, that I seeded about a month ago. So these hardy annuals have been under the grow lights for the last four weeks and they are doing really awesome. Actually, a little bit too awesome. <laughs> so my sweet peas here need to be pinched, so we'll do that today. And then I also need to fertilize. So I've been fertilizing for the last two weeks now. I call it Thirsty Thursday, if you know what I mean. Usually you want to fertilize with a seedling fertilizer once you get some true leaves. The growing medium that I used, which is a seed starting mix, doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it, so we need to add that in. And also want to let you know that I have been running the fan just to make sure that we have good air circulation in here and it blows the leaves of the plants so they learn to toughen up a little bit <laughs> and they won't be so weak when they go outside. Just a couple updates on like germination and how things are going. I had pretty good germination from just about everything. Calendula is like a superstar. It's just germinating like awesome and it's like what is one of the first ones to germinate and it's growing really tall so that is awesome. My replacement grow light was delayed. I don't know what happened. It, it went into like the FedEx void. <laughs> so um, it was supposed to be here like within one week from when I ordered it and then it took like two and a half weeks to get here. So some of my plants like the Dara I think is a little bit leggy just because it was kind of struggling without having that fourth light here. But since I've had the light everything is looking pretty good. Some things that I have been struggling with a little bit, so my straw flower, I did not have very good germination and I'm not surprised by that because it was seed that I am reusing from last year, so you know, it's a little bit older. The other thing that I was kind of surprised by uh, was my Rebecca had really poor germination. So I only have about, eh, let me get my notes. So I only have 18 plants growing here and I sowed like double that, so I'm not, sure what's going on there. Yarrow's doing awesome and I'm gonna try something different and let me know if you think this is just crazy but you know okay well we gotta back up here we gotta do some background so usually you're supposed to have one plant per cell so right now I have a whole bunch of snapdragons I did already thin them but I'm gonna try to see if I can do that secret super special technique where you leave two in the cells and you let them grow up and then you gently divide them through traffic so I can have more plants. We'll see. We'll see. If not, I'll just sit there and sow some more stuff. <laughs> uh, the other thing that I want to do is I need to pot up my Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus. Every seed germinated, which was awesome. And I wasn't expecting that, but they did, so that's cool. But, you know, they're kind of, they're getting a little too big for these tiny pots. Sign Blossom, looking awesome. Doesn't seem to really like when I transplant it to an empty cell, so there's a couple sad boys in there. Fever Few, great. Scabiosa, big and tall, awesome. Bearing Jam's kind of short, it seems like it's a little bit of a slow grower, but that's okay, it's a perennial, so, you know, we're not expecting any flowers this year anyways. All right, let's pinch those sweet peas. All right, so as you can see, these sweet peas are doing pretty awesome. They are all about eight inches tall, and they're getting too tall for the grow lights. And you know, you don't have to pinch sweet peas, um, but it is suggested if you want them to branch and to flower more. I have heard that it's best to pinch after the two sets of true leaves. Some people will pinch after four sets, um, so I'm sure anything in between there is probably fine. So what you do is you just find the stalk here we go here's one and we've got the first set of two true leaves here a second set and then we will just take our snips and pinch or cut right above that and then that can go in the compost so then I'm just gonna go through here and do all of these Ooh, look at this one this one's already branching I haven't even pinched it yet you see that <laughs> pretty cool so I still will pinch this main one some of these are slightly leggy, and I blame that on the delay for my replacement bulb. Alright, you can see here in this one I have two plants growing, and I'm just going to cut this one off at the base. It's already kind of yellowing anyways. Um, that way these two are not competing with each other in this cell. 
All right, there we go, all pinched up. Hey there, I'm just popping in from the greenhouse and sorry, I'll make this quick because I'm sure the rain is super loud. But I am going to secession sow some more of the plants that I planted up in the last video. I've been reworking my farm layout plan. I'm a little bit worried that I won't have enough plants, so I'd rather over sow and have too many transplants that won't make it out into the ground versus having too much ground and not enough transplants. As you can see from the grow lights, I don't have any more space on them, so I am going to leave these ones out here to see how well they germinate. All right, back inside. The last task we need to take care of today on this Thirsty Thursday is we need to give our plants a nice drink of that good, good. And by that, I mean the seedling fertilizer. What it means to have a seedling fertilizer, it's not a special fertilizer that you buy, it's just whatever fertilizer that you are using, and you cut it down to usually about half strength, uh, but it can depend on whatever fertilizer you're using. This fertilizer has a little bit of everything, but it is high on nitrogen to promote leafy growth and potassium to promote cell strength. I don't think it really matters that much, you know, but you know, do your research if you care about what you're gonna put in here. So, well, let's just do this. And this stuff smells like not good. Like tea. <laughs> but apparently there's some stuff in here for plants, so you know. I just take a small scoop, and I already know the size of this, so I know how to convert it to dilute it. And you can use a liquid fertilizer or a granular one like this, but you just, you know, gotta water it down. So. It's a little frothy. Let's go feed the babies. Normally, you would just bottom water these by putting water in the trays that these are inset into, but I'm too cheap to buy those. I know I suck. Maybe next year because this is kind of a pain to do this, um, but I just dump it on. And it makes a mess, but you know, you live and you learn. You can tell when your plants are thirsty by picking up the seedling trays. Um, you can really feel the difference between a dry seedling tray and a wet seedling tray. Dry ones are way, way lighter than the wet ones. All right, I'm gonna finish watering up these plants, but that's it for today's video. Next time you see these, they will probably be hardening off and getting ready to be planted out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.